I'm a little under the weather, but I still wanted to make a video. Stay with me, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, and I'm glad you're here. Hey, I apologize for my voice. I, uh, you know I've always had problems. I've got this trach. I've got, uh, you know, thyroid cancer. I've got lymphedema up here. I've got a paralyzed vocal cord. So my voice is never great anyway, but now especially. What happened two days ago Instead of crushing my pills, I had a headache, so I decided to take two a leave, and I didn't crush them. For some reason, I thought I'd be able to swallow them. Well, they got both got stuck in my throat. I couldn't do anything to force them down or to force them up. They were stuck there. Didn't get any better. I tried to eat some food to maybe make it go down but it wouldn't happen so I went to the emergency room and after three hours of sitting in the emergency room what they discovered was the Aleve had stuck in my esophagus until they dissolved causing chemical burns on my esophagus so I don't know if you've ever had anybody go down your throat with a scope before but it's not pleasant especially when your esophagus has chemical burns. It hurts like hell to swallow. I can't eat anything more than the consist consistency of pudding and mashed potatoes. But anyway, it hurts. They made something called magic mouthwash, uh, which has got some lidocaine in it to kind of help with the pain. But, uh, it doesn't really hurt so much to talk. It's just my voice is very strained. It does hurt like hell to swallow. I never realized how much you swallow throughout the day until you can actually feel it painfully going down. But anyway, hey, I was getting together some stuff for an upcoming LARP event. And uh, I just thought maybe I would stay inside today and kind of go over with you my uh, LARP gear. Uh, if you don't know what LARP is, it's live action role play. And uh, there's an event coming up at Kings Mountain in October. I'm looking forward to going. And uh, started doing an assessment of my gear and uh, thought I would share that with you since I've got it all laid out. Um, it is going to be primitive camping so basically I'm gonna use a tarp and a stick and I'll have to make some stakes out of wood that's gonna be my shelter um, the tarps in the truck so I don't have it to show you it's just a green tarp uh, I did make a video about it you can go check it out if you want to see the setup that I'm gonna use but I'm not going to be able to use a trekking pole. I'm going to have to cut a, a stick to use. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go through the gear now. I've got it all laid out here on the table. All of it goes in this kind of natural looking bag. It's canvas and leather. Everything fits in there really well. So anyway, let's, let's take a look at the stuff. Alright, first of all, here I've got my, my weapons. Um, I have a sword that I use in battle. I carry it on my belt using this. The only armor I have is this leather brace that goes on my right arm, which is my sword fighting arm. My left hand is protected by this shield. So the only two weapons I really have are the sword and the shield. And the only leather 
or armor is the leather bracer. My tent setup, I could say, is going to be a uh, tarp. My blanket is going to be just this wool blanket that I will use. Uh, latter part of October, it might be kind of cool, so that will keep me nice and warm. The other things I have over here, I do have a first aid. I just made this canvas bag out of uh, some leftover canvas that I had. I can wear it on a belt, but I usually just keep it in my haversack, along with all of these other items. And the haversack has a strap, of course, and my character always has his haversack on. So many things that go in the haversack. I always carry some extra uh, cord that I'll use for my tarp and uh, to hang stuff. I've got a compass, a uh, pocket knife, and an emergency whistle. I also, for traveling around the campsite at night, I carry this little lantern. Put a tea light candle in there. My character always has also on his belt this mug for ale. And it hangs off of my belt like that. So I always have that. You never know when ale is going to come available. And when it does, you want to take advantage of it, right? Uh, the next thing I have is my evening setup. I have a nice church warden pipe. I made this little leather stand for it. And then I have a little tobacco pouch here that I keep my tobacco in. These items here usually go in this tobacco pouch. And there's a video on my YouTube page. You can see a review of this pouch. And inside of it Right now, I have my Uber leading, but it's actually going to go in this kit, and this is going to be basically my pipe kit. So, all of that stuff there goes in here. Uh, for drinking, I carry this Boda with the cork, keep my water in there. This holds two liters of water, and when you're LARPing, it can be hot. And you're always active, so you need to stay hydrated. Alright, inside this pouch, you'll see it says fire. And I've just got a fire kit in there. This is where I keep my Uber leading. Ferro rod. I also keep some matches and some candles in there. This, you've seen on another video of mine, is just a tinder roll. I've got some fat wood in there and some jute twine to help get a fire started. So that's my fire. Then I have a little Kooksa cup here for morning coffee. I have a spoon for eating. Oh, I gotta get my wooden bowl. I, my wooden bowl is in the kitchen, but I usually do have a good sized wooden bowl that I carry with these items you know for when I go to the tavern to eat other items that I have I have this coin bag here it does have some coins in it it also has some other things for stationery and uh, stuff like that this these are my papers this is a uh, basically tells about my character it has a map that I made of my characters, uh, where my character is from. I'll show you that now. Alright, so inside here, I've just got this little piece of leather that holds it all together. And if you open it up, you'll find a uh, three-page story about my character. Arab and Roundtree just talks about his history, 
where he's from, what his objective in life is, what's happened to him thus far. And anyway, uh, the map, this is a map that I drew of the area my character is from. He is from the town. Actually, he's from a village called Biggles Wade, just north of Bedfordshire. Right now, he finds himself in Escaline because he was banned from Bedfordshire. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Up here, Scalapel, that's the land of the elves. Go across the Sea of Alamon, Dragor. Dragons have been seen there. Over here, the dwarves from Velbir. Different ports. But it's just a little map that shows where I'm from. The Drakkar Forest. Lots of dark things happen there. But anyway, it's fun creating maps like this. And it's part of LARP. And then I have my my LARP journal. And uh, there's a smaller version of my map. Bedfordshire, where I'm from. Here's a picture of one of my allies. Some rune and elfish alphabets. And, you know, it's just a journal that I keep all of my adventures and stuff, all my LARP writings in. So, all of that goes into that one bag I showed you. And so anyway, again, I apologize for my voice. That's, uh, most of my LARP gear, not counting my clothes. But, um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I gotta remember to get that bowl. But anyway, I'm looking forward to my next LARP adventure. And uh, I thought I'd share some of my LARP stuff with you until I can get back outdoors. I'd appreciate your prayers as I find out about this esophagus stuff on Monday. And until uh, next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.